Hi, it's March 31st, Saturday, and the first nice day we've had in a while. I would say it's about 50 degrees out here, 55 maybe. Hopefully it'll warm up another five or so degrees before I pick up the bees. I'm picking them up today because on Monday it's supposed to snow again. Come on spring. Anyway, I'm setting up uh, my hive stand here. And it's important that you want your hive stand to be relatively level. It doesn't have to be perfect, but you do need to have it level because the bees will build comb based on what is level. And if, you, uh, if your hive stand is crooked, then your comb will be crooked. So I just, uh, just check this with a level here. And in this direction, front to back, you actually want the back of the hive to be just a hair higher than the front so that as it rains, if any rain or water does get into the hive, it'll drain out the front and not pull in the bottom. So we have the hive set up. We're just about a, uh, a half a bubble off. I don't know if you could see that with the camera, but um, about a half a bubble off of level is, is more than enough. And I just used a couple of uh, cedar shims here to, uh, to get it level on the, on the concrete pad we're using. So, here we go. Our hive stand goes down here. Lock that in with these little guys. There's our hive stand. And our bottom board fits right on there. Our entrance reducer, now we're going to want the entrance reducer at its smallest for these new bees because it's still a little cold out and they're going to take a while to get acclimated to the new hive. So we want to keep this small. We may even stuff a little bit of grass or something in here to keep it even smaller. I used a screen bottom board and as a result, we'll put a piece of corrugated plastic in here. Again, we want to keep the bees nice and warm. And close that off. This is our deep, our first deep Langstroth box. This will go on the hive here. our entrance reducer back so that it's right under the dive. Here's our inner cover. Right. And we'll just check level one more time. There it is, just about a half a bubble. So there is a little slant toward the front. If we were level, we would be maybe a half inch higher. We have a, a plastic clean ex queen excluder here, which we're going to use to put fondant on later on. We'll just sit that on top for now. Put our inner cover back on. And our outer cover. We're ready for bees. Here we go. No, no. Hi, we're here at Bee Sweet Bees in Helen, Pennsylvania to pick up our first package of Italian bees from our friend Jesse, who runs the store. Picked up the bees too late last night to put them in, so we're going to put them in now. It's about two o'clock in the afternoon. I want to show you what's. Uh, we've got all the boxes for the hives this year ready and leveled, so we're ready for all four hives. We're going to start with this one. This is number one, and I've got several old frames of drawn comb. Some have a little bit of um, pollen in them. You can see these frames have been drawn out nicely by the bees that we had last year. This is what you start with. It's just plastic foundation. But the rest of this is beeswax drawn out by the bees last year. 
there was some damage where I had some uh, some moth damage just pulled that off but these will be the new home for these bees this year speak up this is a package of bees as you can see they're all in there about four to five thousand they've been in here for this is the third day so they're probably getting a little antsy I've been spraying the outside of the package with sugar water, one-to-one -one sugar water, and uh, that should keep them fairly calm. Now, this is the first time I have ever installed a package. So, those of you who are experienced beekeepers, you'll probably see me screw up. Those of you who are not, well, we'll learn together. Okay. Okay, I'm suited up and ready to go. First thing we need to do Let's get our hive tool and open the box. Before we do that, we're going to give the bees one more spray with a little bit of sugar water to keep them calm and happy. You don't want to saturate the bees, it'll, it'll uh, make them cold. It's only about, what, 59 degrees here today? My videographer is Bethy. Okay. There's the lid. It's just a piece of thin plywood. And this is the feeding can. She's in there, she has a little red mark on her. And there's a little bit of candy in this end of the tube. Okay. I'm gonna pull some of this candy away to make it a little easier for the bees to get her out. Here's our queen in her cage with her attendants. I think you might be able to see the queen in there if you look closely. See the little red spot moving around in there? Okay. So we're going to take this queen and we're going to suspend her in here just like this for a moment. And we're going to lay this can of syrup on top to hold it tight for a minute. I have a little piece of tape here. I'm going to use to uh, hold the uh, queen cage in the frame. Now there's a candy plug at this end of the queen cage. And this candy plug, the bees will eat through to release the queen. It's actually a little cork. So we're just going to, uh, that's a little cork on that end. We'll just leave that partially in and partially out for now. And we will take this down on the frames. There's our queen in her cage. Try to zoom in a bit. And her attendants watching over her. Alright, so we now have one, two, three, four, five frames. And what we want to do is add about a cup of bees to the top here. And then we can just put the box in and leave it go. Okay, we're just 
just going to brush these bees off the top here so we don't squash anybody and put the queen excluder on here which will keep everybody in the hive the bees will very quickly find the entrance to the hive right here now on top of the queen excluder we have some fresh fondant which the bees are going to love so we get this out of plastic Oh, this is sticky stuff. Very sticky stuff. And on top of the fondant, we'll place our inner cover. And this is, uh, we're putting the inner cover so that the, uh, the area that has the most room gives us a little bit of room for the fondant. We just slide this on so as not to squash too many bees. There we go. And on top of that, this is a little piece of plywood. It's a homemade feeder I made. Um, I'm just going to sit this right over top of the entrance and exit hole. And this is one to one sugar water again. I'm going to go in here. Bit more one-to-one -one sugar water. These are just regular canning jars. sideways and then you slide it on so you don't crush the piece. You want to shoot in there? So we have five frames and the bee box that the bees came in. On top of that we have a queen excluder with a fondant. Then the inner cover on top of that two feeder jars. We won't disturb these bees again until we come back in to uh, check the feeder jars. Once again, slide our cover on so we don't squash any bees. And that's it. I installed my first package. I didn't even put on my gloves.